Vanderbilt, one of the five undefeated teams remaining in the country, and a possible player of the year candidate, while Billy Gillespie in Kentucky just trying to get through the season. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you each and every week, breaking down some of the biggest college basketball games with some of the best analysts in the game this week. Fortunate enough to have CSTV Steve Lapis with us, and we'll get to him in just a sec. But want to show you just how tough it's been in Lexington heading into SEC play. They do have six wins, but not one of those are against a team with an RPI better than 250. As for the losses, not all bad. Louisville, North Carolina, and Indiana. But what's unKentucky like is the fact that it started with game number two and a home loss to Gardner. Webb and has continued with defeats at the hands of San Diego and UAB. Both those were also in Rupp Arena. So we bring in Steve Lapis from Washington, D.C., where he's calling a game Thursday on CSTV. And Steve, we'll get to Vanderbilt in a sec because they are the bigger of the two stories, but Kentucky, always a national story. What's missing right now with the Wildcats? Well, how can Kentucky go and lose two games to Gardner-Webb and San Diego at home? They're not even really good mid-major teams. But the biggest problem, obviously the change with Billy Gillespie coming in for Tubby Smith, whenever you put in a new system, there's going to be things that happen different, no doubt. But they are 282nd in the nation in turnovers. They turn the ball over too much. And the other thing is their defensive numbers don't look bad. They're holding people under 40% shooting. But if you look at the games that they have played against good teams, they have given up almost 80 points a game in their losses. So they haven't guarded the way they need to, especially against the good teams, and they're turning the ball over left and right. And, and even against the bad teams, they gave up 84 to Gardner-Webb and 81 to San Diego. So with all that being said, Steve, they welcome uh, Saturday an undefeated Vanderbilt squad that can score with anyone in the nation. How does Kentucky match up? Well, they're going to have to really guard in this game. You know, Shan Foster's having a player of the year SEC type year. As a matter of fact, he's starting to get some, some wooden award uh, consideration as he should. He's probably the best three-point shooter in the country. He had eight threes against UMass the other night. Didn't play so well against South Carolina the other day, but this is a kid who's been on fire all year, 53% from the three-point line. But listen, this A.J. Ogilvy, what a difference he's made to have a 6'11 freshman like him come in and, and score 19 points a game. He has been really the difference. And Kevin Stallings has done an unbelievable job. He's a motion offense coach. They turn the ball over a little bit too because they are equal opportunity type ball handlers, but in terms of an inside out outside combination, that is as potent a one-two punch as you're going to find in the country. Are you worried at all, though, about the defense, Steve? Because Vanderbilt has not played the best defensive teams this, this season. Well, they're not a great defensive team. Their defensive numbers are a little high. They do allow people to score. But one thing about them, they're such an efficient offensive team that this is a team that can outscore you. But now, can that bite you in the end when it comes down to the NCAA tournament? Absolutely. But right now, you have to look at this team and say it's one of the best offensive teams in the entire country. All right, you look at the game. You've got one of the best offensive teams in the country and a team, as you said, not a very good defensive team in Kentucky. Who wins? Oh, I think you got to say Vanderbilt in this game. You know, Van, they're not, they don't guard the three that well, Kentucky, and that's one thing that Vanderbilt relies on. And if the three's not going in, you got somebody else, 19 points a game inside that's going to make a difference for you. One of the best, hey, the SEC hasn't seen a one-two punch like that since the Bernie and Ernie show in 1976. <laughs> You're predating me there, Steve. You know, let's go back a little bit to the 70s as well. Vandy's won four consecutive games against Kentucky. They haven't done that since the early 70s either. They'll try to make it five on Saturday on CBS. Thank you very much, sir. We'll continue talking to you throughout the weekend. Thank you. Folks, for more from Steve Lapis, be sure to check out uh, CSTV's Crystal Ball beginning January 28th only on CSTV each and every Monday. As for now, for Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horwitz. Take care.